Are you using XSplit or OBS? I've uh, OBS. I've got it back up now, but yeah, my ah! Gloria's remedy is the there's Gloria's possible. remedy for maximum humiliation. It's not so, even humiliation. It's just uh, I'm low on cards, and I can't threaten you with damage, but I can at least keep you from throwing a spiral at me. That's true. You catches the spiral too, so good read. So this is, yeah, it's over. Like, yeah, that's that's good night, sweet prince for Southpaw here. Yeah, he just couldn't get anything going there. Yeah. Goodbye. I think I, I um I gotta wonder about about that Joker if he had it when uh when he went in on the twenty five damage combo there at the turn before he used it. Yeah, that Joker uh, for twenty three damage instead of the yeah. zero. It yeah. was. I, I gotta wonder about that. I mean, um, he might have just ripped it, and in that case, you know, that sucks, but. Now the question is, do we see the Zane switch here? Well, hmm. I don't hate the matchup for Geiger that much, honestly, but I wouldn't be too upset if he switched. Well, he, he just got kind of blown up on, like, he just did, on but the straight in RPS. All fairness, the first two turns were, I'm going to lose two throws. Yeah, he so, also uh, did not appear to have any flash gears, because I'm sure he would have played with some if he had them in his Yeah, game. flash gear very strong. With a uh, time kick in the chat, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Um... Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe it's just not a matchup he's comfortable with. There's not a lot of people running around playing Gwen right now, or Gwen right now, right? So. Pretty much ultimate and uh, who else even? Uh, Hooves used to, but Hooves has been dead for a while. Regan Star is the other guy. Regan Star, okay. Yeah, he play, he plays a bunch of Gwen, uh, Gwen when he's not repping Truck. I think I've seen Regan Star's Truck, not as Gwen. Um, yeah, his Gwen is like. 14th or some 15th or something on the. Oh, I guess Tillerman kind of played a little bit of Gwen. Oh, yeah, he went, plays he was doing that. Fraudulent Gwen. Yeah, so I mean, that's pretty. You know what I mean? Not a lot of people. <laughs> rep, yeah, repping the character. And certainly not a lot of people playing her from week to week, so. I mean. Um, oh, yeah, he's thinking pretty hard about his character choice because I think we can safely assume we're not going to see Vendetta this game. If he picks yeah. Vendetta, I would say that's a large mistake. Well, I mean, he, he could pick it on uh, based on the the virtue that he thinks that Ultimate doesn't know the matchup, but, I mean, that seems slim anyway. I don't know if you have to know the matchup. Like, this match <laughs> just play just kings at you, and twos at you, and yeah. aces at you, and queens at you, and you have to deal with me. Yeah. Yeah, there's literally nothing. That's true. Sticks with Geiger. Right. Sticks yeah. with Geiger. I can agree with sticking it out. If he gets dumpstered again, I think we might see him switch to Zane, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, yeah, Bad King's right. Those first two turns are really bad for him. Yeah. Ugh. It's two attacked again, so ultimate, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, for sure. If my two attacks are uh, hit you, oh. sorry, get a relentless strike, and then hit you for 25. That's some I'm solid damage, turn one. Turn yeah, one, for one. Yes, for please. Sure. And, he, and he burns an important throw, too, right? So. I mean, I don't hate the turn one throws. I said, Gwen usually doesn't have 21 points of damage off an attack turn one. Yeah. That's true. Oh, uh, there's the time kick. <laughs> so, for this stream, are we going to call it time kick or flash gear, given that Southpaw here is playing? Uh, I usually just kind of say whatever I think right away, but I, I know that we're not supposed to call it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know if Mike was here, he would say it's flash gear, damn it, about seven times. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes uh, I say flash kick too, right? Just kidding. how about we just say time kick? And the fact that Riker is not here in this is a southpaw game. How, how about time gear? How about that? Time, time gear. gear? Time gear. <laughs> okay, oh, so go, goes with the bold wake up throw there. That was a little strange. Like, well, unless he did, okay, he, he was he knocked he got knocked down twice last game, and both turns he uh, both times he uppercutted. Yeah, so I, I was going to point reading. out exactly the same thing. Yeah. So. Probably reading the dodge and getting punished for it with the. But he has lost two sevens now, which if Southpaw draws sevens in the future, makes those a bit stronger. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, maybe he opened seven at the beginning of the game because he had one. Okay, so that's going to be some decent relentless strikes. Yeah, that's ten, what, ten damage. damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. The amount of chip damage that J Jack does is dumb. No, I mean, it, it, it's it for the ability, but like yeah. that, that's basically necessary to make that ability worth or that card worth playing yeah for sure it's also a holdover from the version of Gwen I sort of helped push to play test that was completely broken where the J was actually destroyed blocks when it connected with one I remember Ugh. that that was a good time <laughs> 
like it, it sort of got rolled into a new innate. This was also back when Gwen, nice undercon the seven, which I mentioned was going to be more important now that two Gwen sevens are gone. This was a yeah, time also true. when Gwen had aces in the discard, all of her attacks and did more damage and chip damage. So you'd have wow. situations Queen would do five chip. Ugh. I remember that. That was back when Shard Swarm still existed. That was the ability on the ace, indeed. <laughs> Alright, so, Southpaw here got himself a little bit of a lead here. They're about even on cards. He's got some spirals in the discard, so I mean... And I was about to say, yes, he's actually playing this perfectly, because he can afford to sit for a bit. If you look at Ultimate's discard, he's gone through two sevens. He's gone, gone through a nine. Uh, he's doesn't have aces right now, either, yeah. to really get the quick little 16 damage, so if you just sit back and chill, Gwen might just kill herself, or deal a lot of damage to herself. Yeah, okay. And he just burned that king, too, which is super key. And now he's a cycling the block. Yeah, Cycloid is super dangerous for Gwen here at 33 life after her innate. Because if he successfully lands the Cycloid, then she basically has to play a perfect game. Well, now if he successfully lands anything, yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. she's dead. Pretty well. So I was probably oh. going to throw here, because he usually does. Hmm. Still kind of scary against Gwen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But And there's a chance that Ultimate just has Queen, plays Queen. If I Yeah, I was going to say, if I'm Ultimate, I maybe just mash Q if I have a Joker in my I'm hand. Just say, if that trades with Ace Ace, you're eternally sad. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, I was just thinking that, because you know the Ace Ace has to be a real threat. Yeah. Well, I we, thought we, Southpaw we, was going to go in with the throw specifically for that reason, but... Wait, when we commented that set with uh, with Deets though last week, he did he did Rye Ace three times in that set or something like that. So, That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know if Ultimate's seen that or not, but uh, it was a good read nonetheless. Well, he does defuse the Ace Ace and the four, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, that gets a yeah. lot of damage out of his hand. Well, and now Geiger's down to four cards. Ooh. Yeah, there's the Jackie found. That's gonna Cross, get undercut. Yeah, cross up defense, but it gets uh gets cut by the two. So do you keep going, or do you leave Geiger? Yeah. I was just going to say, I think you I just leave don't. Geiger on three cards. <laughs> yeah. It'll be four after the draw, but that's not a happy place to be against 11-card Gwen, who yeah. really wants to unload a whole bunch of damage into your face. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, two combats, and he's done, so... He likely does not have many fast attack options, so if he tries to stave off a throw attempt, he could very easily get blown up by Jay. Like, Jay would have blown that right the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> He has to think if Geiger's on five cards that he wants to block more than normal. I think that was a questionable Joker from Ultimate, given his yeah, size. Yeah, five cards. You know he doesn't have aces. Yeah. Uh, he probably he has two six in the discard, two sevens in the discard. Like I don't know. Two would uh, be a real, two would be a pretty strong play here from Ultimate. I think. He's pr he's probably pretty jittery just being at twenty twenty seven life. Right? Mm. Twenty two is a scary well, on your Gwen because if you get yeah. hit by. Two time gears or a cycloid, you lose. Yeah. So, if you get thrown once, that's half your life. Yeah. See it. Nice. Oh block. wow. Nice remedy. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I will say for aspiring Gwen players, Gloria's Remedy is secretly one of the best cards in her deck, and I've seen a lot of Gwens just think it's completely trash. I know! I see so many Gwens pump with the card, and I'm like, stop doing that! <laughs> and uh, so, here's how I think about it. Gwen Ancestral Recall, yeah. Ancestral Recall. What happens is Gwen spends six life to draw three cards, and she gains six life when she blocks with ten. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That 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 seems like a huge misevaluation. Like, I mean, to me, it was a, like it's immediately apparent that that's like a really strong card, right? Like, it just gives you more currency to win the game with. And then you'll see them like panic ten late game. Uh, Ultimate trying to queen and knock off the temporal, assuming something aggressive was going to happen. Queens again. Yeah. yeah. If Q, then Q, baby. I mean, you know, he doesn't have aces, so, or if he does yeah. have aces, he hasn't been using them. He drew them naturally, and that would be pretty... Uh, to be draw pretty... both of his remaining aces naturally to use them. <laughs> that would be something. So, Ultimate yeah. in a good spot here. Uh, Southpaw's yes. got a bit of his hand back now, so... But he's still got a five card. If he gets hit by a J, he loses, so that's a thing. Yep. That's true. Nice oh, throw. Ooh. Nice. Just, uh, undercuts his throw, and... Uh, so this is gonna hurt. Pretty good, yeah. See what he's got. 6A six six, or 6K six six plus plus, I think, probably. Yeah, he's, he's still got two aces eight. in discard. Oh, the undo coming What's out. What's 6 back? Hmm. What's so he the, the rare undo. Is he thinking about whether he wants to knock down? 
is the real question because if he doesn't think Southpaw has access to kings, he might value the knockdown. Nope, we're gonna do the spaghetti <laughs> throw six J six, which is equivalent damage to throw six Q uh, K pump. Sorry. All right, and back in the lead now. Yeah, life. Southpaw on the verge of death. <laughs> yeah, any combat here lost pretty much. Well, even even a even a blood block through. Uh, Relentless Strikes is pretty Dodge bad. Dodge is now lethal as well, since he's now got Gravity Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> you are defeated! <laughs> I'm lusted. I just go for Raw Gravity Squeeze if I'm, uh, if I'm going here, but I think this is also where we see Time Kick, if it's coming. Oh, it's not. Oh! See, the, Raw Gravity Squeeze would have worked. It's the Queen Squeeze mix-up. Pretty good mix-up. That's half the one throw. So, yeah. if, Geiger, if Geiger has a flash gear, this is where he mashes the button. Now that three of Gwen's queens are gone? Yeah. And he's going to find the time gear? I wonder uh, I wonder if uh, Gwen has, if Ultimate has a uh, uh, glorious remedy here. There's only one in the graveyard. I would say he probably does. Um... I honestly might just wake up Joker as ultimate if he has it. I would heavily suggest wake up Jokering now. Yeah, it's not a bad play. Um, Glorious Remedy also gets him out of the potential time spiral. It does, Unless but Glorious Remedy gets blown into a J or something. Glorious uh, Remedy gets blown up by throw. Throw three or five. Like I think you Joker or you block. Or if you have the fourth queen, I guess play that. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are only 17 cards left in this deck, so it's certainly possible. Wake up, king uh, is not what I was... Or because of the, uh, if he has the normals, because the normal attack does hit. Yeah, Relentless yeah, Strikes does uh, knock it off. He's going to get some uh, cards out of it, potentially. Yeah, you absolutely follow into this, though. Yeah, he has two sixes and a five lives, so. though. Oh, it's just the two, but... He gets rid of TD, though, and that's the important thing. I mean, he's still at 8, though, so it's like, eh, How important... I guess I have to think now, I think about how important was that really, because if you're going to be at 8 life, that's it true. doesn't matter whether the combo's on Joker, because the combo, you're dead on the first hit. Yeah. And TD's back up anyway, so... I mean, he, the TD isn't really for the unjokerable combo part, it's for the I want my jack back, you bitch. Yeah. And she used two twos to relentless strikes that yeah, block. Yeah, I think about it. I think that was maybe a questionable play. Because that's I mean, all of her jabs gone. I think she probably did not have another option. Um, well, I'm saying you could have just let the face down go and yeah. just did three chip. If you're and Gwen, you maybe mash King here if you have another one. She's only done, drawn or played two of them. Uh, another Terra Gravity Squeeze would win the game. Instead, he dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, no kill like think, overkill. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's uh, Southpaw expecting um, dodge the gravity squeeze, basically, or uh, Gloria's remedy there, which is a uh, pretty strong play. And I think uh, Ultimate should have known that that all his best options are different. We're gonna get to another Gwen Geiger match. I doubt Ultimate plays anyone else. He tried Jane against me, but I blew it up because I have experience with Jews. So yeah, who else even plays that fucking character? <laughs> Drew is literally the only Jaina. And he's, what, second on the leaderboard right now? First. Yeah. Or, well, uh, second on the overall. First yeah. Jaina. I, was, I meant overall. Obviously first yeah. on the Jaina leaderboard, because after him, it's Nemcan with a Master 3 Jaina. Yeah. Yeah, he had Gwen first for a little bit, but then we played uh, four games of Zane versus Jaina, so. and I won all of them. Ultimate played, like, a decent amount set pretty well. He just got blumped in the mid-game. Does strafe. Yeah. Uh, two attack forever, turn one strat, with the nice little eight throw to start the game. Yeah, puts him in a solid position too. Yeah, it gets him and a mix up, and now he's got eight cards, so more damage. Plus a normal draw if he hits with it, so that's always nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, is he really expecting, like, a dodge to try to catch a time gear? Yeah, that's, uh,. I mean, do we have straight for aces? Two, three, four. We have one ace. A bit of a weak combo, but I mean, you won combat, you got yourself an ace. And he burns your time spiral. Yeah. Well, I mean, you get time spirals back when you play TD anyway, so. I suppose that's true. 
I mean, Qu- uh, Queen as a combat card in this matchup is a very questionable decision. Yeah, it undercuts Jack, and that's about it. <laughs> and it's like a really smug, I thought you are going to throw play. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Raziac 9 into throw. <laughs> Not quite. It's more like a Q into throw. Yeah. Okay, seize the remedy. Block, block. Uh, obviously favors Geiger not just in the abstract of the matchup, but because having he, cards, he good. cards. But yeah. he, now he also knows Gwen has a ten, and he was also at such a low hand count. He needed the block block turn. Yeah, he definitely needed to block. Ooh. Oof! That was smug. <laughs> Indeed. Well, I mean, if you're, if you're going to call out a throw, you might as well go for the big money. Like, what are you going to be outspeeding of wins? Unless you're, like, playing a two or something to undercut a jack, <laughs> then you might as well be duffing. He time kick. Nice. Time gear. He didn't say it in the chat. What's wrong? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just... I was like, what's happened? What? <laughs> I have literally <laughs> never seen him not say time kick. With two exclamation points, by the way. Yeah. <sighs> Three is too many. He's not that hype about it. <laughs> if it wins, come any I put in the third one. <laughs> we should come up with uh, dumb names for Zane attacks and then do the same thing whenever we play South by Hair. Oh I just God. call his J Psycho Crusher because it's Psycho Crusher. Well, it is Psycho Crusher. Everybody, uh, everybody freaking calls uh. Crash Bomb, Cash Bomb. Cash Bomb, that's true. Uh, I'm so glad that stuck. Like, that was... Uh, Jew created that one, I believe. Mm-hmm. Just Cash Bomb with the dollar it sign. In the the arrow when it was a starter. Yeah. And I, accidentally the best reversal in the game. I miss those days, but it was it's better this way. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being very vocal about its removal as a starter, because this was in the time before Meaties. Well, I was right in that Zane was going to need something else to replace it. And then that's something else he got briefly made him the best character in the game. Yeah. Because his queen knocked down still. Yup. Almost with that 10. Ugh. Why? Yeah, we, we literally just spoke about this. It, it makes his, hand must, his hand must be pretty specific to want to do that. I don't know what you... What? I don't know. I can't imagine what you want to keep so badly that you're pumping with 10s unless you're he about brought- to with a 10. He probably has like a straight or something, or like four tens. Break up. Yeah. Nice Ooh. throw. Keeping the momentum going. Yeah. So and he'll get some solid damage off of this because yeah, no I was gonna say he down. can take the life lead here. Maybe he has a very black and purple hand. Maybe that's why he pumps up the ten. Yeah, maybe. Six AA. Yeah, AA boy. twenty-eight. <laughs> Max damage. That is some damage. And now a commanding life lead for Gwen. I wouldn't call it commanding. One it's 15 was... points of damage. That's a combat. And a couple that's turns. That's true. Going. I was, was going to say, literally, if he gets time time geared, that's even it's... again, basically. Go it's over. Be- what? It's the okay. best she can hope for. I mean, she's so, always losing life, right? Question for the uh, people here. Gold Burst is good because it gets you a Cyclade Revolution without having to block, and that's nice. It's bad because now if you get by a king or two... You're really upset with life. Yeah, I I it's cannot. Like, way that bad in this situation. Like unless well, you're in the literal do or die, I do not advocate gold bursting against Gwen. Yeah, my uh, my thought is just that South by Hair is going for it, and you, you say to yourself, "All right, next turn I'm gonna try and kill her." So the best way to get all my tools is just a gold burst. I mean, it may, it may be very aggressive. I'm not sure if it's right or wrong, yeah. but that's got to be his thought process. I'm saying it has a good and a bad end, and having Cycloid without having to play the Am I Allowed to Block game is nice, for sure. Nice cue. Uh, get yeah. out. Get out of dodge. I, I, I'm, I like that play from Ultimate, because at his current life total, trading with AA is not that devastating. Well, and he, beats t- and he gets Temporal sti- uh, Distortion off no matter what, right? Yeah. So. Well, I mean, unless it's blocked or dodged, but... Yeah. It, especially just- if Ultimate has a Joker, which he likely does, because one has not come out. Uh, and he's gone through half his deck. Yeah, uh, for sure. Q, very good play there. But so, Southpaw going into time to guess again mode. Yeah, he's gotten two queens back. So he, that, he has, was uh, 39. Very greedy 10 throw there. Yeah. yeah. I have to think. This that's... should be lethal or close to it. 
Depends. Six. Does he have AA? If he doesn't, it's still going to hurt. Yeah, for sure. He would need the other two aces, so no. Yeah, there's the JJ. Three life left. This is uh, this is not where you want to be as Geiger, because now you just have to mass dodge, because King and Jack both chip you out. Uh, a normal back twist, a uh, three or above also chips you out. Yeah. I bet you he time kicks here. Time gear. I bet if if he has out. one, I would say so. But we have I the have. spectrum going. Uh, Pickles is time kick. I'm time gear. That's death. Yeah. And... I think Razix is calling it uh, Flash Gear. I, I've been bouncing between Flash Gear and Time Gear. <laughs> but I think we have a nice little spectrum going. That was a. So I'm going to say the two games that Ultimate has won have been pretty big blow ups. Yeah. Yep, for sure. And uh, th I mean, the second game was very, very close. So. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is actually would be a pretty big win for Ultimate because I don't know. If Ultimate himself is in playoff contention, but Southpaw is holding on to the fourth spot currently, I believe. Let me pull up the. I will say the Dragon Tail Veil Division, at the very least, the playoff race is ridiculous right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Southpaw... Ultimate is currently three four. He's tied with almost everyone, and Southpaw is holding on to that fourth spot with a four and two record. Southpaw, yeah, Southpaw has four and two, and Ultimate is in the three four tie clusterfuck. So this <laughs> win would be super huge. Because it puts him back into contention, because it only puts him a full game back of fourth. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, granted, there's probably going to be a few people like that <laughs> at the end of this. Yeah. Yeah, the last couple of weeks of this division are going to be insane. So, Dragon Tail Veil, I say this because we have three people with a 5-2 and two record, myself included, after my loss to Nemcan. And Jister, if he actually gets to play his game uh, against Soulpatch, if he wins will be the fourth person with a five and two record in Dragon Tail Veil. Oh my. <laughs> Jushichi is four and three. He's like in a really awkward spot. <laughs> yeah. So Southpaw thinking hard about the switch, because he thought hard after the first loss. Yeah, and he barely scraped out that win in game two, so the question is is you know, is it time for the is it time for an aggressive it's, it's, decision? I think it might be time for Zane. He's already kind of shown with his play this game. He's not scared of throwing caution to the wind and going full hyper variance. I need to kill you now murder mode. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean that's definitely a style of play that suits Zane, so. Like who else would you want to play for that? Like Setsuki kind of can can be played that way if she's not being played mathematical Q7 always return QK7 mode. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm trying to think who else you can play like. Yep, that, there's there it the is, Zane the Zane switch. switch. So, Alright, so. let's take it here. This, this, and I uh, don't think Ultimate has a truck, right? I have no idea. Or if he does, he hasn't played it. I mean, everyone technically kind of has a truck, because everyone draws face cards. Say. But this, uh, this matchup, Zane can actually go uh, significantly more on the aggressive, since he can counter-throw Gwen. Uh, since her throws are point six, so you win with both five and seven. Um, and her only reversal option is her ten damage Q, so you don't really care that much if she uppercuts you. Because what, everything else gets speed hole abused by meaties. Yeah. Indeed. Um, however, you have to be super careful not to get your face torn off in neutral. <laughs> because if you go for a throw and you get Jade, you're just like, oh, oh! Uh oh. You better, you, yeah, you better hope you have crap. Uh oh, half. <laughs> Ultimate backing off the aggressive turn one against Southpaw this game. Well, he probably doesn't have a two. That's why. Ooh. I was going to say oh, that right there is why. It's because Crash Bomb as a button against Gwen is really good. <laughs> like, maybe you don't like it if you hit a J with it, but other than that, you're pretty happy. Yeah. You don't like it if you uh, run into Glorious Remedy either. <laughs> Yeah, those are the two, uh-oh, what happened? Yeah, but, uh, Crash Bomb does 12 damage because of Gwen's innate. Uh, so, like, you can... If you think she's not going to pick a defensive option, you just throw that fucker out there. Uh, Southpaw respecting the DP, I think, is the incorrect decision nine times out of ten. I agree. I think, I think the, um... The speed at which Ultimate stuck that card made Southpaw believe that he had it. I well see even if he does have it, I think you just swing it anyway. Like I think that's your logic in the Manelker matchup as well, right? Since his DP is only eight, unless he pumps it. That's exactly. Uh, uh, I said exactly that in my Manelker matchup analysis that I added last night. Like yeah, nine and, times and, out of ten, you just swing because the alternative is wake up Bonecracker, which ruins you. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, so, so that's a Raz <laughs> flip. Yeah, so Southpaw getting uh, getting a, a good throw here, but flipping hot garbage. I don't know what you're well, talking about, Mad King. My my mills are godlike. <laughs> yeah, well, in, in a, he, he he milled Queen J against me, and then the following turn, J. Like I, he can't really use Crater. Why is he use Crater Destroyer here? Why? Like, you're, why you're against Gwen? Eleven cards. <laughs> uh, so you, to be to be fair, he did get rid of three twos. Yeah, but you probably just gave Gwen. I saw Gwen's hand briefly. I also did, which was strange. Well, you you do. Uh, for any spectators, see the common information. Ah, uh, uh, okay. No, no, no. We saw the. No, no. Uh, I I mean, we saw the new hand. It has a Joker yeah. in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ultimate kind of agreeing with our analysis here. There's not a whole ton. All he does is he loses a block dodge, which is actually a little bit important if he starts running long cards. I wonder. Uh, I wonder if he's got the if he if if indeed that was not just a random glitch and that we did see his hand if he's just gold bursted here. I why though? Like you could yeah. Just you don't gold burst. You you, you yeah. You block and like Joker the damage if you actually get hit. I I don't know why they're discussing this right now. Like discuss it in post game, nerds. Yeah, or just match uppercut. You know, if you match you. <laughs> Beating the all the terrifying nine. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other thing is that it would actually be a good turn. Where I know you don't like the idea of block dodging when you have the media advantage, but on that particular turn where Zane's kind of lowish on cards. Oh, the I was gonna say I can absolutely awesome. agree with block dodging there because he is low hand. That's super key. Like undercutting that you have to be willing to put that two out there as Zane. Whoops, the queen. So that's really nice. Yeah. If he yeah, has a jack, this will for be big painful. damage here, yeah. Depends on the rest of his hand. Again, we know it's just not very big. Oh, yeah, it's 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 okay. Nine, okay, yeah. no J, so that's nice, but... 18 does... damage is 18 damage. 20 yeah. damage after the turn, so it's yeah, 27. Sure. Southpaw on not a lot of cards, though. I think a Crash Bomb comes out from Southpaw if he has one. Nope. Nope, oh, just a 5 wow. He just wants blood. <laughs> Ultimate needs to Joker this. If he has he's, it, yeah. He didn't. He didn't to. face down. He's just eating this. Well, he goes to three. He can go to three here if he has. Oh, he doesn't have the nine. The thing is, now he gets checkmated by Zane blocking for a long time. If Zane ever draws a Joker. Yeah. Like. Or you know, meaty, meaty odd for a turn to not hit remedy and then block for two turns and you win the game. Yeah. Yeah, as, as Zane here, you just go for an odd if you have one, and then... Five, block. four fives powered up. Well, oh, they're useless right now. You're knocked down, so the dodge is useless. The five yeah. point of, that was being absolutely nothing. I was just surprised that he had all four. Ultimate can't win unless he uh, unless he gets Glory's Remedy hit, so yeah. you just, you just oh, block right. his Zane. Southpaw can actually block for two turns, because the most she can do off a throw is 28, yep. so Zane takes 56 and still is alive, and Gwen kills herself. Yep, game's over. Unless Southpaw decides to be charitable, or so, if he does recognize the checkmate situation, Southpaw can only lose if he hits a if he hits Glory's Remedy. Which yep, there's the first dodge, and Ultimate recognized that he needs to hit Glory's Remedy in order to win. So now the game is over. Like you just concede here. I think he's gonna drag it out to see if Southpaw makes a mistake. <laughs> we're no, pretty he's sure. <laughs> He would be a pre catastrophic error. <laughs> I was gonna say, unless somebody switched out Gwen's aces with Manelkers, you're not killing him. <laughs> Even then, you, he would still be at 20. Yeah. Uh, no, you give Gwen temporal distortion and her king counts as a time spiral? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I, I mean, Can I just, tell if trash talk or being actually polite? I, I think he's be actually being polite. Like, you can't deal 75 damage in two turns. The game is over. One turn. Or, yeah, one turn, rather. <laughs> like, Southpaw no, sits there with his dick in his hand, and... Y y yeah. <laughs> oh no, you got gravity squeezed. Oh no. <laughs> Dreadlands tickle, 22 damage. <laughs> Dreadlands tickle buff does 100 damage for two aces. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, plus yeah, plus twenty-seven damage. 
or Ace Fist. I just imagine, like, Gwen throwing her arms around Zane and just giving him a hug and then just dying. Thank you for everything, Zane Coon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so definitely a decisive win from uh, Southpaw there. He did not lose any critical combats. So yep, he got hit sure. by a queen. He got hit by a meaningless dreadlands. Yep, <laughs> for sure. So this is uh, this is a huge swing momentum wise for uh, Southpaw here. We'll uh, we'll see if Ultimate picks up on the fact that most of the combats he lost were from being counter thrown. Uh, Either he way, with the turn one K, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's coming straight out the gate here. Uh, I think he has a straight, I'm guessing. Probably? Pumps with 3, 4, 6, No, day. he just wants to do a bunch of damage. Oh, yo, wow. wow. Wow! He didn't have a straight. He just goes straight to zero cards. Yeah, he just dumped I, his entire hand. Turn I one. Ble I believe that's 50 <laughs> extra points in Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> Create, destroy that. Wow. <laughs> the Shots fired. <laughs> so, if you're going, you just play an attack here, if you have a fast one. Yeah, if you've magically also ripped a two on your two cards, and you're yes, some sort of... because getting dodged is not a big deal, you need to get your hand back up. Oh, oh okay. Wow. Gonna, oh, wow. Oh, just plug in. <laughs> Yo, what are you gonna do? Hold this chill wow. vein, nerd. It's... Wow. <laughs> ultimate, sh ultimate shifting gear here. And not caring at all. Yeah, he's going. Nope. He's going into full aggro mode. I kind of. I'm kind of a huge fan of this. 404. Fuck's not found. Oh, oh wow. That, that still I wins. <laughs> How depressing. Aww. <laughs> well, think about it. Three of the four cards he's drawn since going to zero are two sevens and a jack. <laughs> so you can't be too upset with them. Maybe he didn't have an answer. Maybe he drew seven eight. So, 7J here from Southpaw, probably? 7, if got, anything? If he's got it, yeah. 7's pretty big. Wouldn't this be a cool point where if you could use both Shenanigans card and just do throw 6-7? I mean, that would be nice, but... I mean, great, I think buffing Zane anymore is kind of a questionable call. But... Yeah, we, yeah he, he's pretty balanced where he is, I think. He does not need more buffs. Just nerf, nerf Troc and everybody's happy. Well, nerf Troc and Zane's the best character in the game, and it's not really close. Probably. Um, what would his bad matchups be? Like, I mean, kind of maybe a good draw Valerie. He, no, he would still have a bad matchup with Rook. Uh, I think even if you nerf Troc, he would still have a bad matchup with Troc, and he still has a bad matchup with Grave. Alright, Ultimate still going on the I do, I'm not going to block ever strat. Maybe he actually just. These does. sevens. I'm going to say that is probably why he did the 7 last turn, because he probably had 7-7 seven, seven or 7-8. Seven, so he was like, I lose to 5, and I'm willing to accept this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, man. Okay. Dude, oh, God. <laughs> so this doesn't really hurt, but Ultimate now has a bit of a hand. What if he has, like... <laughs> why? Oh. I, why would you even tack the 3 there? Because he wants to convert the damage, because he's not putting any consideration to managing his hand. He just wants to convert it. And I if you guess. think about the two, he is actually free. Because so, Zane has played three throws in the past couple combats. Oh, just wow. Man. No more caring. Just stay away from me, scary man. Zane I wonder damage. if you... Yeah, I wonder, I wonder what, what has led him to this path. I mean, it's obviously uh, been pretty successful thus far. I mean, it's South mean, so trying to exploit the like, fact that... One Southpaw is trying to exploit the fact that Ultimate has no hand, but Ultimate's just mashing attacks. Ultimate, yeah, Ultimate refuses to let him. Uh, okay, finally so the dodge, that... finally the respect, so... Dude, what he's... Has he, he also... Oh! That will... Play the king. I was gonna say, at least he can use the king. That Joker's probably real from Ultimate. Oh, it's not. Nope. Oh, okay. wow. I don't think you face down there if it's not a real Joker. Like, you need, only, you need yeah, to get Yeah, with only cards. four cards in your hand, yeah. Unless he just has a queen and he doesn't okay, care. Okay, so you need Fuck to not get hurt. hit here. <laughs> oh god. I wonder. Will Will ultimate throw here is the, is the real question. No, it, it, throw is absolutely <laughs> the wrong decision unless you are holding a Joker in your hand. Like you block or you mash Q if you have it. Or you mash Joker if you don't have either. Yeah. Hey, Whoa! Whoa! That's Whoa. <laughs> What possessed Ult you to gold burst at a four-card win? <laughs> Ultimate with a throw, obviously. 
Ultimate was a very good read there. <laughs> he takes his foot uh, off the gas for a split second and gains six. Yeah. Um, now up to a six card hand, five now that he's face down, but uh, he's gotten out of that rough patch with 60 points of damage to show for it. Oh, hey, yeah, another and another ace. rise. Yo, two and aces! He has, and he has the second one, wow. This is, this is, uh... I mean, Zane can win this because he just needs two reads, but this is pretty close to a wrap him up because Q is problems. Yeah, Q is a real problem here. Um, so, I've just looked through the graveyard. Um, that is the first defensive option that, oh, uh, se well. now second, that Ultimate has played the entire game. Yep, the only block and the only dodge. Yeah. Why did he face down when both Jokers are milled? It's the third Joker! <laughs> Three Joker attack, but he didn't have nine damage off the dodge. Well, I mean, he could really only do that with King Pump if he had it. Or uh, J-Pump, but you or, can't or have. Du or double ace, but uh, there's three in the graveyard. Yeah. So. yeah. Alright, so... Southpaw's still technically in this. There's, uh, I mean, his wake-up option's extremely limited here, but... Uh, if Ultimate drew a K, he is mashing the hell out of it. Yep, because K chips him out and outspeeds everything that matters. Hey! There it is. Well, well played by both players. Uh, Southpaw, that last game was uh convincing but this is uh that was uh some some kind of adjustment from ultimate. yeah ultimate was just like okay i'm gonna mash the buttons he saw that he saw that opening hand and he said this is the hand we go full fucking aggro yeah he did 34 damage and jumped his entire hand on turn hand. one and again in the first turn he ever played a defensive option at that point he hadn't really been punished for going low hand because those draws were just outstandingly kind to him and southpaw just didn't adjust in time, yeah. and he got out of that situation with a six-card hand, and he had done 60 points of damage. Yeah, because he, yeah. he was just landing, like, poke after poke from either dodges uh, or yeah. just, like, He didn't even play dodges, he just play attacks and throws. Yeah, yeah and Southpaw looking very, like, fervently for the, um, for the block or the dodge, throwing throw after throw and getting caught by the, uh, the attacks, so. He caught a throw on a slow turn. Yeah. yeah. The five, that was it. <laughs> That was the one throw of his, I think, that connected. So, yeah, that win is absolutely huge for Ultimate and basically keeps him in playoff contention. Yeah, it puts him up to 4-4 four and four and uh, drops so, South to 4-3. Southpaw's now at 4-3. and three. That, Yeah, that, uh, that, that section there, really tight. And you know what? A lot of, like, I mean, Southpaw here, uh, LK404, have both been playing really well recently, too. So this is, like, and Deets as well. So this has been, like, a really... Uh, this will be like a really, really tight uh, playoff race for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I, I think I, I hate to be too confident in myself, uh, but I think number one and number two are pretty much locked in. Uh, yeah, Merc Merciful Fate could potentially overtake Leontes, but it, um, but yeah, it's it, it's likely that you and Leontes are yeah. one and two. It, unless I lose to Merciful Fate this week, which I'm playing him on Saturday. Uh, the top two likely won't change. Like, if I beat Merciful Fate, then that puts him at 5-2 and two and I'm up at 8-0. and zero. Uh, Which means, at that point, I think it's borderline impossible to actually pass me. Like, no, it is impossible to pass you, because you beat both Leontes and Merciful Fate, so you're the only people who can mathematically tie you and beat you on breakers, you have the breaker on. So, yeah. um, it would be impossible. Um, but, uh, at, at any rate... Um, the top two won't change unless Merciful Fate beats me, so the race is for the, the that uh, fourth and fifth contender spot. Yeah, for the to play the to play in. Um, and we we've, we've got some big matches coming up uh, for sure. Uh, C Pat's gone AWOL. Uh, yeah, no one has heard from him at all. Yeah, he might have gotten eaten by school or something. I don't know. Leontes was, uh, was awarded the win over C Pat for the week six match since that's now a full two yeah. weeks overdue. Yeah. Um, okay. And assume, at the end of this week, if C Pat has not shown back up, uh, Merciful Fate will receive his win for week seven. And, and I, I think that also disqualifies. I was going to say, I believe at I believe at two missed weeks that disqualifies C Pat. Uh, oh wow. It also, because of the way the rule system works, if there's a, a third season of the league, he's disqualified for, at the very least, that entire season from entering. Yeah. Um, oh. My not sure. is against Shax, who's currently 1-6 and six and completely out of playoff contention, but he can still play spoiler to me because of the way our division's been working. Yeah. The, uh... I have... Oh. 
Merciful Fate this Saturday. Uh, CPAT next week. CPAT if he exists. Yeah. Uh, then yeah. LK404 in week 10, and then week 11 is my bye week. So I, I have Merciful Fate, a possible bye, a Gloria, and, and then an actual bye. So I, I'm on I'm on the uh, the home stretch, so to speak. As far as the yeah. five two clog in Dragon Tail Vale, the cap who's currently in the driver's seat being undefeated plays against Nemcan at five and two. I was impressed by how uh, how close Mystic Juicer came to beating the cap. Yeah, it was a really good set. Like I didn't get to uh, see the set Juicer itself, won, but the fact that he was up, the fact that he was up two zero is impressive. Yeah, right, Mr. So Juicer played really well. I, uh, Mr. Juicer with another chance to spoil because he played Thilo this week, who's in the 5-2 and two clog. Yeah, I uh, I will cut the recording off here, though, and we will leave the uh, the playoff speculation at that for the moment. Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody.